You can be anything you want You can achieve it if you just believe Take you to a place you can be your true self Live your passion Live your passion, yeah Marine engineers are professionals responsible for the maintenance and repair of mechanical and engineered equipment and systems on board a ship. Meet Lodica Hermaniella, the first female marine engineer employed by Lydritz based Pescanova Fishing. This is her story. Live your passion, live your passion, yeah. Lodika Hominyela hails from the Onama Kulikwa village in Oshikoto. Primary school was about seven kilometers away, and Lodika's aunt, who raised her, insisted that she attends. I was born by Kheopa Samnyela, my father, and Julia Ngongwaka, my mother. I have five siblings, uh, three brothers, two sisters. And I was, uh, when I was young, to the age of eight, I was raised by my aunt, my mother's sister, deep in the jungle from uh, Oshkoto, Oshkoto region. That is where I started my grade zero to grade two. Concerned about their small daughter and the long distance to school, Lodika's parents brought her home to Engela, where they were stationed. However, her parents lost their jobs when Lodika reached grade 9 and the family had to relocate to the Edunja village. Struggling to adjust, Lodika failed grade 10. Despondent, she ended up staying at home for about three years. And then I decided, no, I'm capable of doing something. I did my things. I got back in school grade 10 at Ondope. I was admitted and I passed to my high school at Onga Senior Secondary School. I passed, then, uh, okay, I passed, but I didn't hit uh, high point as I, I, I hoped. Another three years lapsed before Lodica eventually managed to obtain her grade 12 certificate through the Namibian College of Open Learning. An attempt to access a science bridging course at the University of Namibia's Northern Campus did not bear fruit. In making ends meet, Lodica rented a chair at a friend's hair salon. I improved my grade 12 and then from there went to IUM for a year because I, was, I feel like it's not really something that I wanted to do, doing a, a business administration. I left that and I went to flying school. Yeah, I was at, uh, started at uh, Applied no, at uh, Nata. Lodica excelled at the West Air School of Flight and her childhood dream of doing a job wearing a uniform was now in reach. She soon moved on for further training to the Madiba Bay School of Flight in Port Elizabeth, South Africa. Flying training is costly, however, and unable to keep up with the tuition and with expectations to amass the requisite flight hours, she had to abandon her dream. Lodica also fell pregnant at this time, which exerted additional strain on her resources. Then, an opportunity arose at the Namibia Fisheries and Maritime Institute, NAMFI, at Volfus Bay. I just saw um, this advert from Nemfi that, uh, yeah, you can apply. Actually, I applied for navigation. Then uh, the kids outsmart me. They got a better point than myself. <laughs> so, yeah, that's why I am here today. I... Live your passion. Live your passion. Yeah.
Marine Engineering Training covers a wide range of disciplines and follow the standards of the International Maritime Organization's conventions. Upon completion, graduates can become engineers on ships with different ranks, ranging from third to chief engineers on smaller vessels to chief engineers. With her marine engineering qualification under her belt, Lodica's luck started to turn. She immediately left for Luderitz with one goal in mind, to find employment at Pescanova. I just have that strong belief that I can get something from Luderitz. That's how we came here. Never, I was never here, just came for Grand Pastures. And then we go head straight to the office. When we went there, okay, this intelligent colleague of mine just went in the office and said, okay, Pescanova held the first female captain. This is going to be the next first female engineer. Okay, and the, 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 the gentleman in the office just said, okay, I will look into it. Taken by her friend's positivity, Lodica left the Pescanova office. However, she could not wait a day longer and reported back to the office that very afternoon. Now, looking onto it, I just came here for a job search. I don't know what is the actual meant by it. I will look into it. Went home, impatient me. The next day I decided, okay, let me just give him a call. I called and he said, okay, just come to my office. I went to his office and said, I, I actually said, come to my office tomorrow afternoon. Me, I went 12 o'clock, I was already there. Uh, they apparently had an appointment, but Luther's people are good people. He had to rush quickly and come back to me. That is what he did. And then just give me an appointment, come and start to work. I mean, 2020, uh, 20, uh, 20 January. That was very great. I did my uh, exam in December, and uh, that uh, same December I got my job in here in uh, Ludred. Lodica's first days were difficult, and getting seasick made it even more challenging. I work with her from the first vessel to the last vessel where she is now. No, I'm actually a chief mate in the vessels. Né? I'm working as driving the vessels. Not actually the captain position, but the second from the captain. Yeah. Well, at the beginning when she starts, she was suffering so much for the seasick. <laughs> so I was like a mother to her. I was treating her like I'm treating my baby. She <laughs> suffers so much. You know how the sea is. <laughs> but apart from that, she's really doing her job very nice and she never give a, or a burden a job because of the CC. She couldn't go easy and she can come back to the work. She's a hard, very well, very hard work. Men have always been the dominating gender in the maritime world. However, Lodica's talent, bravery and determination continue to stand her in good stead in breaking the ceiling and making her mark as a competent and skilled female marine engineer. And without people, without the tools to operate, to process our product, we won't be able to operate. Laudica as a marine engineer is not just uh, somebody who tinkers around. She is responsible for not only diagnostics checks for our vessels, you know, our, our tools on the vessels, but she's also responsible for the maintenance and repair work. Remember, if any of our vessels, any of our tools are not in operational stage, 
uh, we are unable to um, process and give the quality that we are guaranteed. So she maintains the fleet uh, or the vessels to be more precise and make sure that we are able to catch and process on the vessels and bring this quality back on land and into the customer's table. I, I call myself as a jack of all trades. I can do what, everything on, on board a vessel. I just accept uh, navigating the vessels. So I can uh, start my engine, do all maintenance on the engine, do all maintenance on every equipment on board a vessel. I can pretty do everything on board a vessel, except on the bridge and on the factory. Shift work on board vessels is physically demanding and emotionally taxing. Lodica's male colleagues appreciate her commitment and strong sense of flexibility. To them, she is a member of the team, someone who has proven her value and worth. With the work shift, uh, waking up at 5 o'clock in the morning to 12, that is the normal shift, the first shift of the what? Because we work 12 hours, 6 hours, 6 hour rest, and then the, the day goes on. When you are on, on, your, on your watch, you have to, to, to make sure that all the machinery and all the equipment, all, everything that needs your attention, it's at their optimum temperatures. Uh, we are actually you, uh, focused on more whether your engine, uh, engine is, uh, uh, the temperature is fluctuating or, or there is something that is uh, worrying you. You just have to pay more attention on your, uh, your engine because that is what is uh, moving the vessel. That is what is keeping the vessel afloat. So um, it's pretty much sometimes uh, everything, uh, things can just get uh, broken even in the factory or way that needs engineers' attention. You just have to stop the production stop, I can fix this quickly. It's pretty much uh, busy, interesting and fun at the same time. I just enjoy my shift. Live your passion, live your passion, yeah. Driven, resolute and passionate. Lodica's example of perseverance inspires those around her. Her journey has been one of setbacks, but she has embraced failure as an opportunity to begin again. So, I am just a great 10 failure. Let's just hold it there. I am a great 10 failure, but today I am here. So anyone, anyone can do it. You just have to believe in yourself. Life or her, yeah, her journey, it's something very inspiring. Like, it can teach you, we can learn from her, like, you don't have to give up in life, no matter what you face. If, if she tells you about what she went through, it will move you, it will move your heart. And that's, that tells you how hardworking she is, and she doesn't give up. And from that, I also learned that you just have to keep moving, no matter what difficulty you Lodika Hamaniela. Her story teaches us that the greatest glory in living lies not in never falling, but in rising every time we fall. A true champion of the value of technical and vocational skills. She is blazing trails for women wishing to enter her exciting world. She is proof that women are able to and that they can succeed. She is living her passion. This insert is brought to you by the Namibia Training Authority as part of its Live Your Passion advocacy campaign to create awareness amongst young Namibians about technical and vocational careers. Join us again next week for another inspiring episode. <laughs>